Hey, how you doing? Nope, my name's not Red. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. But I do have a shiny red new lawnmower. This is Craftsman's newest M100 mower. It is made by MTD, and shockingly, it's made in the USA. It has a little Briggs & Stratton 140cc engine on it. The lady that owns it uh, left it over the winter. She had a hard time getting it started when she finally did. She mowed a lot of wet grass, and unfortunately, she turned it over on the air filter side, and just things went from bad to worse. So I used power washer, got it all cleaned up, and I'm going to show you what I go through to do a little tune-up on this new Craftsman M100 mower. Oil has leaked out all over the deck. No doubt from being turned on the wrong side. Since I don't know the condition of the fuel, I'm going to use a 10 millimeter Allen socket. Goes in the bottom of the carburetor along with a 10 millimeter wrench. This is a quarter turn. And I'm going to take the plug out and it's going to drain all in the pan that I just put in there. This will ensure that there's no water in the carb or in the gas. And the bottom of the plug doesn't seem to have any jello in it. On this other carb, I can show you how this uh, little quarter turn device works so you can see what the goal here is. Uh, Allen key, turn it literally one quarter of a turn, it pops out. See those deep grooves in there? First thing I'm going to do is clean up the air box and replace the air filter. Now you can clean these filters. It does not make financial sense for me to do that. Wash them out in like Dawn dish soap and water. Let them dry good. Uh, this is what one of these looks like when it's washed. Uh, but when you get it washed and cleaned up or a new filter, just a couple of drops of any motor oil. Not much. And I put this in a sandwich baggie. And I rub it all around to try to get it evenly distributed. This thing should not be dripping wet. Just slightly tacky. And this one is ready for next time. And I'm going to put the one that I just took out of the bag into the new air box. So this is the old gas that drained out. Uh, the debris just came off the deck of the mower. And I'm going to use that old gas to, or old petrol, to clean out the air box. It has a lot of accumulated oil and dirt in there. Right, all the fuel has drained out. Gonna wipe off the outside of this outside and inside of this air box to try to prevent any fuel and dirt going into the carburetor. This, although you can put this on the wrong way, it only really goes in one way. The hole is off center. And this air box cover I cleaned and this snaps on right on top there. All right, next I'm going to replace the the quarter turn plug on the carburetor. Has a pretty big o-ring, so It'll sink right in a little ways. And then again, use a 10 millimeter spanner to tighten that down that one quarter of a turn. That's all it takes. I'm going to add some fresh fuel and ensure 
that there are no leaks. I hate these cans. There we go. And there are no leaks. And while I'm here, I'm going to check to see if I can hear it priming. I think it's priming. Hard to tell. Oh, yes. You want to make sure this is clear right here. This is where the air comes in through the air box. While I'm on the front side of the mower, I'm going to check the spark plug. Check the spark plug cap. Nothing seems to be in there. That looks good. And this particular mower takes either a 5 8 inch or I prefer a 16 millimeter magnetic socket. And this plug, it's looking kind of uh, dark and sooty, but uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It is the original spark plug, as you can see, because it's got paint on it from the factory. And if you're replacing this, this is a Champion RC12YC. She's using a standard spark plug gapper, and this guy is just... A little on the tight side, it's supposed to be 030 inches, so we can use the back of a spark plug gapper and just lift that up just a hair. And there we go, we're almost there. Exactly 030 inches. Get that started by hand. And once that's tight, you put that no more than one quarter of a turn. All you're trying to do is compress. This is a new spark plug, different mower, but all you're trying to do is compress that crush washer right there. And put the spark plug cap on until you hear a positive click. And you know that's good to go. So I've got a water heater drip tray right here. So I don't wind up with any BP moments in my backyard. Uh, I'm not real fond of these type of um, decks because they tend to make a mess very easily. Let's see if I can do this without too much of a mess. There we go. It's coming. Oops, well, a little bit of a mess. Let that drain for a few minutes. So, this definitely could have been a lot worse, not too bad. Just very easy to make a mess with these little guys. All of these smaller engines take uh, between 16 and 20 ounces. This jug happens to have 16 ounces in it. I pre-measure my oil. We're going to start off with 16. We'll check it and see how it goes from there. And these are very easy to cross thread. And I don't know if you can see that or not. You're just looking for the shiny part, but it is right at the top of where that arrow is. So we are good to go. 
Now the easy way to keep from cross threading this is keep turning it backwards until you feel it drop in a little bit and then you can start tightening it down. Last thing I like to do is lubricate the wheels just a little bit. Just a couple of drops of oil. It will work its way in there. I lubricate the cables. I use a product called Triflow. Bicycle guys use that. Just a little spray, operate the bale. And do the same thing at the top. That spray will work its way down there. The moment of truth. Prime it a couple of times. It wants to. One more. Come on. Come on. took care of this new craftsman mower i guess the moral of the story is don't mow wet grass or if you do don't turn it over on the air filter side to clean it out if you like the video push the like button helps the channel out a whole lot and if you want to see a tune-up on an old craftsman watch this video or right here mow happy